I'm going to show you how I learned to make a simple bow. I apologize, the first few seconds of my audio didn't come through. But when my sister asked me if I would show her how to make a bow, since I used to make them for her, I said, sure, let me put together a little video. And in case anybody else is curious, they could see it too. So enjoy. Years old, there was a Michaels near my home um, that had a big work table set up where they would put their floral, floral arrangements together and make bows. And I learned how to make them. I mean, I know that there's several ways that you can make bows and they even have like um, bow maker wooden things that you can buy on the Amazon, which are pretty cool. But I'm gonna show you the way that I know. I have here, I wanna say this is three inch ribbon and I picked it up at Walmart. It does not have any wiring. Any, oh yeah, it does. It has wire. So that's good. But I'm replacing the ribbon that's on my kitchen tree. I'm going to actually do something a little bit different with it, but this was perfect for this demonstration. And what I normally do is, okay, so I could make a pretty big bow if I wanted with this one, but they get kind of loopy. So the biggest part of my bow it's probably going to be like this. If I wanted to stand up correctly, if I want to make a gigantic bow, I would want to find something with a wider ribbon. So, but this will make a pretty good bow size. So what I normally do is I take two lengths of my arms and pull it out. And that will give me three hoops on each side and have a little tail hanging. And then I will cut it. And then I will fold it down the middle. I mean, you don't need to crease it, but you just want to have two equal ends. Okay. It doesn't have to be exact because just, I mean, but you can if you want. And in the middle, what I normally do is I will make a little hoop here and then twist around both ends. And then cross them over so that what you have are your right sides pointing up, whichever side you want facing out of your ribbon, and then your little hoop. For this, I forgot to mention, you'll need something to tie it at the end. I have a piece of pipe cleaner here. I liked, I watched these um, wreath makers make um, bows and wreaths and they use this. And then I started buying it and realized I really liked the way that it worked. Um, you can use floral wire, you can use, I use string. It's just whatever you have handy and whatever will tie it off. But I've made the mistake before where I have um, used floral wire that's too thick of a gauge and it doesn't crimp the ends, crimp the, the um, bow together like you want it to. So next I'll make my first loop. I'll continue working with this until the one end is done. So it's going to make three hoops, I think. So there's my first hoop. You bring it towards the middle and then you twist it you make your second hoop. Bring it towards the middle and you twist it. See, so I have two hoops. They're not identical, but they're pretty close. And then I make another. Now, if you're gonna want a longer tail, you'll need to make your ribbon longer. You may want, I don't know, two and a half arm length.
So for the second, now I'm on the second um, end. You'll make your first hoop, bring it towards the middle, and then you twist it. And you're on the opposite side. I'm sorry. I'll do this again so that you, you can see it. You do the opposite side, you make another hoop, twist it. It's all twisted in the middle, you see. You make another hoop. The tails are about the same, and then you twist it. So here is the ribbon. You would then put your pipe cleaner through the center of the hole of that little, little knot you made, or not knot, the little hoop that you made through all of the ribbon Tighten it and then twist, twist the pipe cleaner so that it's all in place. It's all locked into place. And then you can just straighten out your, your hoop, your, um, what are they called? Your bows, your hoops. And then you have and it has three hoops on each side. And then you can um, cut these so that they are, you can leave it alone or you can just make it angled or you can make it so that it looks like a little cut end here. I'm sorry, I don't know the technical names for these things. I get on camera and I have to record myself over and over again so that I'm more articulate with what I'm trying to say. But, yeah, so, and then you can play with the end. So that it looks pretty and fancy. up in the water and then you'll have your bow. I'll do it one more time. One arm length, two arm lengths. And then you cut your ribbon. I really thought this is cute. It's going to be on my, crisp, my kitchen tree. And I got some skinnier ribbon. Anyway, I got some skinny ribbon because I want to make gingerbread men. I don't know that that's going to happen. Two weeks left. I haven't done it yet. I probably won't. But I wanted to make gingerbread men and then hang them. But I have clay. I might just make some that I'll always use and then I'm not tempted to eat them. So, let's see here. Okay. So you... you you um, divide your, your uh, ribbon down the middle so that you have two in equal lengths and then you have, not folded, but you know, you create your first loop Now you have your two sides and then your knot that's going to be in the middle. And you'll take one tail end and you'll make your first, let me turn this way so you can see what I'm doing better. You take your first end, you'll make a hoop, twist it. Twist it again on the opposite end. Until you have three. Oops. 
you have three loops and they're all twisted in the middle. They all, where they meet that knot in the middle, they're twisted. This one, my hoops are smaller and my tail's longer. You don't have to make them all the same. Some of them can be bigger. I think I'll do bigger on this side. Okay, so now I'm on my second tail. I'm gonna make a loop around. Twist it in the center. Make another tail on the opposite end. Twist it in the center. Make my last tube on the other end, the opposite end again. Twist it in the center and then you have your ring. You put your pipe cleaner through the center. You twist it around and then you've got another bow. And then you can just fix this up. Now, I know that there are different ways. You can layer your ribbon up. If you have arthritis in your hands, this might not work for you because I'm already feeling cramps in my, my thumb, but which normally happens when I'm making tons of bows. But there you go. You can fluff up your ribbon or your bows and I'm not going to tie this one because I wanted to do something a little different with my ribbon, but there you go. It's cute. You can, if you have a longer piece, you can make more hoops, make it four. You could double up your ribbon, like I said. If you're bow challenged, it's not that, it's not that hard. Sometimes, I mean, if you have a little bit of ribbon left, you can make two hoops on each side and just call it a day. So anyway, I hope you give it a chance. If you have any questions or you, um, if you have any questions, just, um, you can leave me a message and I will message you back. And I hope you can, I hope that this was, easy enough to follow along. If not, I might try and get some help filming so that maybe um, somebody else can film while I'm trying to do it and you can see better what I'm doing with my hands. So anyway, good luck. Thanks for watching. Bye.